we're back. We need to do some more exploring because we checked out the church, which is there's still some stuff in there that we need to we need to get or look into or find or has something to do with something. But we also have to check out the rest of this place to see whether what else we can find. We have two Bajos in. And... You know, yeah, we've we've learned some things. Hello, creepy cafe. Th why is there always some dude trying to call me? Every time. You know, warrior, I don't care if you like my puzzles. You just have to solve them to become the warrior. Well, do you want me to become the warrior, or do you not want me to become the warrior? I am a little confused as to what the heck. Well, we will get back to you. I I haven't even finished looking at the picture. So we have a lady and another lady. And there is a sign with the thing that says Olivia, which is this thing with this. I'm wondering if I'm getting all of this stuff on my flashbacks. Um, find the petroglyph. No, I'm back a photo. Yeah, so we're getting all of these. So that's good. We've seen some of these faces before. That was the barber guy. Um, there's the... The preacher and his wife and the kid and then there's someone else. This is Burly Man and Burly Man 2. The burly -ing. Cyclone Cafe! Home of Pearl Cyclone Burger and Tornado Fries! There's a disc. Do we even have a computer? Well, we've got a disc. That, children, is called a floppy disc. So we have silver, do silver dollar pancakes, ten small pancakes. So they're out of the omelets, the burgers, and the tomato soup. Nice to know they don't have anything, and I needed a drink. My throat was a little parched. Alright, so... we got more stuff to read and stuff to look at. We've got... We don't have a lighter. So we can't look at that. We have... This pot found buried with the dead in the mine tunnels under Cyclone depicts the ancient Indian god of death. My... Masa Uu, who was a bat-like and blind by day. According to the legend, he lives with Spider Grandmother and can destroy with a touch. Huh. Neat. Can I go behind the till or... Nope, we're just going in here. I want to look at you soon enough, friend. You're a little... You've got a little symbol thing, which I'm sure means a thing. And we got a piece of paper. That has nothing on it. That we know of. Can we... My first instinct was invisible ink and would have to look at things. We have Rat Poison DEFCON 1 100% Effective Rodent Eliminator. DEFCON 1 60% of the time it works 100% of the time. So we're inside the office. Do 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 And let's see what they've got on their messaging 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 machine. The Metaching Machine. Desert Satellite, Pearl Lawson, Cyclone Cafe, 30 Star Road. Huh. Free, 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 free. I, customer, agree to pay $17.95 per month if I decide to keep Desert Satellite service after the six-month trial period. If at the end of the trial period. So Pearl was doing a six-month thing with... 
Woo, five, 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 six thousand. Let's try that. Oh, I can't look at the phone. Fine then. Or can I not do that? Because I just need to close this. Well, at least it's not a dope. Uh, hello. You've reached Desert Satellite. If you would like to sign up for our free satellite service, please leave your name and number after the beep. Hello. Yes, I would like to have your free satellite service installed. Also, do you have any service that doesn't go to Indian burial sites or, you know, um, places out in the middle of nowhere where rock slides happen and people wearing masks? Try looking for this thing called a warrior, and you need to take these sticks and do puzzles anywhere else than that. Let me know. Thank you. Bye bye now. So we've got a pearl, which is a book. Oh boy, there's a lot of comments. Extra customers because of the search for tourists <laughs> trying to read words. Jason Dunlop's disappearance has affected appetites. Mike, Lyle, and friends arrive. Cyclone... Oh, these are different days. Mike, Lyle, plus friends arrive. Cyclone won't like them. Olivia talked me into letting her paint a mural. Jim gets supplies from Flag. Slow day can't afford to pay the whole band. Bank robbed. Should I get a wall safe? No tourists today. S scared off? Scared off? <laughs> it's almost trying to read doctor writing. Where are the tourists? The, the band asked for fewer hours, thank goodness. At this rate, I can't even afford to pay Mike and Lyle. Uh, let's see, we got this. Pearl, I know you're worried about what is happening in Cyclone. You should trust no one, not even me. If something happens, I want you to have the contents of my safe deposit box. It contains the truth. The key is under my trailer. Bert. So we have to find a trailer, and then there's going to be a key under it. So hooray for the fourth. Mike and Lyle are only something plus doing cleanup. Getting satellite TV tomorrow. Everyone must have stayed home to watch TV. I... Uh, oh, I... Ivan? Oh, someone didn't come in today. Haven't been too good at keeping the books lately. Out of everything, can't get Jim to go to flag. Long distance phones outs trapped. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, okay, there's that. So things just got slowly out of hand. Can you quit moaning at me, lady? So we need to... Can't go forward. I have an idea of what I need to do, but I'll carry on. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we have a key. To what? A key to something. We've seen a couple of things. Well, that's... Lady, stop the moaning. <laughs> well, there's the barber shop. So let's see. We've been to the community church, the cafe, the barber shop's across the street. There's Pearl's house. I bet that's the key to Pearl's house. So I wonder, should we go to Pearl's house next? Which I think is... Right up here? Yes, this is Pearl's house. So... Use the key. Are you gonna call me again? All oh, right, this music. Okay, we're doing something.
はやややや、はやややや。So we have a penguin. Uh, can't do anything with the penguin. We have a fridge. Can't do anything with the fridge. We have an oven, though. Of course, there's a book in the oven. Trip cyclone in cyclone. Tomorrow morning, when the sky is pink or when Olivia wakes up, we leave for Cyclone, a sleepy desert town, mid pink sandstone cliffs, awaiting Trip Cyclone to call it alive. June 8th, it's so hot, can't think. June 9th, we stopped at Petrogriff Rock. Pictures carved by dead、uh, Anas Anasazi? The hot wind seared my body, my brain. It just looks like graffiti to me. We're finally here in Cyclone. I feel as if we're experiencing an episode of Twilight Zone or something. The ghost town sleeps, but inside it's alive, like a hive. That's a buzz with the disappearance of one of its own, the grocer's son. Yet they fail to notice or care about the man and woman from New York. Where are they? Only their car waits for them at the Devil's Mouth. How far is. How long does this go? Some authorities from Flagstaff came to search the canyon for the missing couple, but they didn't stay long. We're not getting any tips at the cafe because we're out of towners, and tourists are scarce. So, this is, one of the, this is one of the journals from one of the people, from the band people. Got to get another drink, Siri. I'm just sure someone here in Cyclone is responsible for the disappearance of three people. Every time one of us asks about Devil's Mouth, we're warned to stay away because of some ancient Ana, Anasazi curse. Anas, Anasazi. Why is that? Why does that word just sound crazy? Anasazi. Phil Dunlop at the market said that the Navajos and Utes won't even go there because the spirits of the ancient ones still live there. I think the townspeople are just covering up some horrible secret. They're telling us to stay out, and at the same time, the mayor is trying to get mining companies to come and lay waste the devil's mouth. Go figure. I feel as if it's up to us to find the missing people or their bodies. We know it's a long shot, but if we put clues that lead to the perpetrator. I just knew somebody. Someday I would get to use that word. In a rock video, then we, maybe we can get some attention. From the media, and it will be played on rock TV. Last night, there was an armed robbery at Safari Savings. Everyone here blames it on a transient, but I wonder if it was somehow connected to the missing people. Life is good. Who would ever have guessed that we would find, find a benefactor here in Cyclone? We were about ready to get out of Cyclone because of the job situation when we ran into this guy wearing a Kachina mask. He intended. We intended to ask him all sorts of questions, but when we mentioned that we were a rock band, he got very intense, wanted to hear us right then and there. Unfortunately, fortunately, we had a copy of that old videotape. Turns out that he loved our stuff, said he'd like to produce our rock video. He'll even hire an expert from LA or something. Oh, we're not to mention who is helping us. He seems, seems he's afraid of the others in Cyclone, aren't we all? Dark Cloud. Who are you really? What is the secret you hide? Why do you help us? What is the pain inside? Are we too. I mean, yeah, you are too trusting. Yeah, this is all right here. This song is just too corny. By the way, where'd you get the money to buy all the equipment you ordered? Oh my gosh, this is still going. Oh my gosh. This goes forever. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay, well, I'm going to give. I'm going to give each page. Like, I'm going to. There's that's time on that page. That's time on this page. So you guys can just pause it and read. I'll read through it all <laughs> before I. Uh, before the next video. Or we could read it all now. I just think that that's a lot of reading. Because it goes until August. And there's a whole. There's, there's stuff in here we need to know.、Uh, so we have. Things are moving fast. Dark Cloud rented an old dance hall for us to practice in and record. The door has this strange lock, but Lyle, as usual, figured out the combination so we could sneak in late at night to, in, to practice. 
Pearl will be glad to get us out of her basement. Cyclonians have been complaining. I guess they hear us through the mine tunnels. He prayed and blah, 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 blah. I want to write a song about Dark Cloud, but it's not coming. I wish we knew who he was. That mask is so creepy. I find myself staring at it every... Staring at everyone in town to see who he could be. See if I recognize his voice. The video technician came today. His name is Stuart. So Stuart came because the guy funded the video. And he's younger than I thought he would be. Olivia thinks he's buff, so of course Lyle and Mike feel threatened. Olivia was having a thing with Stuart, and Lyle and Mike have a thing for Olivia. Oof. So this is a list of who could be Dark Cloud. But apparently Keith Hickson's too old. Richard Talbot's too dumb. Ivan's too old. There's all of these people. Wait, is this Pearl's? No, this can't be Pearl's thing. This is somebody else's. We went into Devil's Mouth today. Mike thought he saw the paintings on the rocks start to move, but I think it was just his imagination. People in Cyclone are pumped. After trying to get cable TV into town for years, everyone will get satellite satellites. Some sales guy came in and made everyone an offer they couldn't refuse. Six months free service and a free TV. Unfortunately, they won't have rock TV, but we're too busy to watch. Making a music video is major work. The library was open, so we went and looked up Kachinas. This library is fairly big, but some guy named Max Wharton was has checked out every book there. We found enough information about Kachinas to know that Dark Cloud may not be playing with a full deck. The Indians consider Kachina masks to be sacred. Some masks are fed and taken care of as if they are the actual Kachina spirits. I guess there are other masks that are just pretend masks. Which is which kind is Dark Cloud wearing? Ivan Spencer disappeared today. He's this old man who sits in his... So that's the barber. Then he was spying on them. And Mike stopped in at the police station, overheard Bert, this poor drunk guy in the jail, saying that Ivan was a petroglyph just like Jason. He also said something about Dark Cloud. Dark Cloud said everyone hated him in this town. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Williams disappeared. He's the preacher's son. According to Richard, the guy who works at the gas station, the two of them were camping up at Devil's Mouth. Doesn't sound like fun to me. When Richard woke up, all there was left of William was his empty sleeping bag. Lyle thinks he ran away to escape his dad's tyranny. Mike says he saw one of our videos on TV. Yeah, right. I think Mike is just working too hard. Mike's aunt Mike's Aunt Pearl is acting really bizarre about the TV, though. It's in a prominent spot in the cafe, and she leaves it on all day. We used to hear all sorts of juicy gossip at the cafe. Now everyone, every, now all anyone does is watch TV. We worked so hard today that my throat's sore. When we came back to the cafe, the TV had been left on, and there it was, one of our videos. Something was, I don't know, it had the right words with Mike's voice singing, but for some reason watching it, it made us want to go into Devil's Mouth. Olivia started crying when the song was over, probably because there were images in there that she hadn't planned. I think we were just tired, and the video wasn't quite what we had expected. We drew straws to see who would confront Dark Cloud about the video. I lost, but Mike said he'd do it. He wants to see Dark Cloud's face when he explains it. Mike doesn't trust him at all. Mike was kind of rude when he confronted Dark Cloud. You know how Mike can be. But Dark Cloud was cool. He said that he was so pleased with the outcome of the video that he submitted it to a cable TV station. He didn't really expect them to air it, but since they did, he hoped we were happy. Mike didn't buy it. Mike says from now on, one of us is following Dark Cloud every chance we get. Today we saw another one of our videos on TV. Right in the middle of it, I started walking out the door. Only I'm not sure where I was going. Dave had to pull me back. Cyclone, full of zombies. I see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, blah, 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 blah. Dave followed Dark Cloud into the ruins after we finished filming today. There's this secret room in the back there. Dave hid behind a wall and watched while Dark Cloud chanted some Indian words into this hole in the ground. All of a sudden, this spirit thing came up out of the hole. The spirit told Dark Cloud that our music was insulting, as if. Then Dark Cloud said that he was just using the music to bring his enemies into the canyon so he could use some kind of power on them. 
We don't know what power he has, but I'm sure it's the answer to the disappearances. I think we might be in big trouble. We had a pretty hard time acting normal around Dark Cloud today. Olivia said she wanted to go home, but Mike says we should hang around and find out what kind of power Dark Cloud has. Meanwhile, everyone in Cyclone watches TV. No one in town goes into Flagstaff for supplies anymore, so supplies are running low. Pearl hadn't had meat for a few days when all of a sudden Phil Dunlop called saying he had fresh meat at the market. Well, Richard works for Phil at the gas station, and he said Phil never leaves town. Richard also mentioned his dog was missing. I'll stick to Tuna. When we go up to the mouth again to do pickups, Dave is going to follow Dark Cloud back into the ruins, this time with a 24529. So I'm assuming the letters mean numbers, or the numbers mean letters. And we're going to have to decode this. I'm just going... Wait, is there a key, or is this... Okay, so there's no... Oh my gosh. There is so much. I'm assuming, like, 1 is A, 2 is B, blah, 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 blah. So I'll try and... do this. Uh, it took forever for Dave to come back tonight. He managed to get all the stuff on... The even the da 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 da. Dark Cloud got mad at the spirit and stormed out of the room because it wouldn't tell him where some stone thing was. All of a sudden, the spirit talked to Dave as if it knew he had been hiding there the whole time. It said stuff that Dave didn't understand. Nonsense about some kind of warrior. Olivia went out with Stuart tonight. She says she is trying to find out how much he knows about Dark Cloud. Mike and Lyle can't stand it. When Dave was in that, that secret room behind the ruins, he saw a sand painting. So when we made another trip to the library, sand paintings are believed to be able to summon the powers of the past. I think most tribes use them for healing, but Dave said the one up there was not only unfinished, but it looked very different from the ones in the books. The mayor's wife disappeared today, but the mayor didn't seem too concerned. Mike mentioned to the mayor that we might be in danger from Dark Cloud. The mayor got furious and told us never to mention that name again. August 11th. I think that living at, the psych at that psycho motel is affecting Stuart's brain. He hasn't even noticed that there is something odd with the music videos. Oh, so that was um, Stuart's room. <coughs> Excuse me. Not Olivia. Well, Stuart's wallet was there, so of course it would be his room. Uh, when he finally watched the, t the TV, he was ticked off because Dark Cloud had changed stuff. But when he started to get... But then he started to get this glassy look in his eyes. I tried to call out of town today, but now the long-distance phones are out of order. The only way to call out is to use the two-way radio in the police station. There were several upset people waiting to call out. Maybe I can get through tomorrow. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to memorize all this. I wonder if this will be in my flashback. I hope so. Last night, we all agreed that it was getting too dangerous for us to stay much longer. Luckily, there are clues in most of the videos. Dave is going to the canyon this afternoon. He is going to use blah, 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 and see if he can get it back. Can get it to come back. Ugh. Ugh. Almost done. I can hardly write this. My hand is shaking. Dave and I went to the Kiva, but the spirit kept talking about some warrior, so we left more confused than ever. Wait, okay. Just as we were coming out of the ruin, we saw Dark Cloud. He didn't see us because he was focusing on a side canyon. <coughs> there, headed straight for the ruins, were two hikers. I wanted to call out, call out and warn them, but about what I call, call out and warn them, but about what I didn't know. Dark Cloud said something, then all of a sudden a huge petroglyph of all horned an of an all of a horned animal peeled off the wall and came right at the hikers. Then more came off the walls from everywhere. The hikers kept falling down, trying to run away, but there were monstrous things were everywhere, sucking their life away. All of a sudden, Dark Cloud called the petroglyphs back in onto the walls. I thought the hikers were going to be safe until he pushed this huge rock down the cliff. 
causing an avalanche of boulders to fall down on them. I couldn't look. It might have been us. I'm never going up the devil's mouth again. I now know that we will never get out of Cyclone alive. We've seen too much. What, what were we thinking when we thought we could catch a murderer merely by putting clues in music videos? If Dark Cloud will kill anyone who approaches the ruins, then he'll surely kill us. Dave took pictures when Dark Cloud left. I mailed them to a friend back home. I'm assuming that's us. I forgot to mention that when we got back to the van, it wouldn't start. We would have left or we would have left last night. Dave and Mike are going to get some tools from Richard at the gas station and hike back up there to see if they can get it started. What else can go wrong? An avalanche is blocking the road out of town. Even if they do get the van started, it may be impossible to get out of here without hiking, and it's 50 or 60 miles to the nearest town. Dave says he's driving up over the boulders no matter what. Yeah, right. Mike's Uncle Jim appeared, disappeared today. Pearl just figured he went to Flagstaff in his truck and couldn't get back because of the avalanche. His truck is still in the garage. She never even looked. Olivia is missing, and someone vandalized the van. I know it's Dark Cloud. I can't stand it anymore. We're leaving tonight, even if we have to take Pearl's truck. It's four-wheel drive. Maybe it'll make it over the landslide. First, we're going over, to, going to go to the motel to see if Stuart has seen Olivia. We all need to stick together. So we learned a lot. A lot, a lot from that. Now, that was Wendy's notebook. So we learned a ton from that basically we've got pretty much the uh the plot from before and why we're here i'm assuming we're the ones that they mailed that wendy mailed this these pictures to maybe i don't know all right but all right okay we can look around for like another five minutes. That was like a good, like, 10, 15 minutes of reading. I apologize. I was just going to skip through it all and like just let you guys pause and read it if you wanted. But I there may have been stuff in there we needed. A chess piece. We're going to need that for the, for the garage. And we've got a picture of a dude. <laughs> Look at the shirt. He's wearing a shiver shirt. Can we flip it over or anything? Nope. Dear Pearl, you're a saint or a baddie. I can't tell which. To take Mike, Lyle, and their friends for the summer. I guess you'll have six of them there when the other ones come in August. It will be fun for them to explore Devil's Mouth and work at the cafe. I know you can't afford to pay them much, but I hope with tips they can at least earn enough money to buy the video camera they want. By the way, since you've got them for the summer, Jim and I decided to go to Alaska with Wendy's parents for the month of August. We'll be camping, so there's no point in trying to contact us. Good luck. We'll get back with you in September and see how things went. Ruby. P.S. Thanks again, sis. Did you ever redecorate and get all those hideous birds out of your place? Well, 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 no, <laughs> I mean, no. So there's nothing in here. So that was just a big exposition dump of everything that's been going on before and now, for the most part. I think we're getting, like, a gist of what's going on. Oh, yes, and let's let's go into the basement, because that's going to have nothing creepy in it. We have a guitar. We have a suitcase, which we can open. We have a tape recorder, t-shirts. That seems to be it so far. And... Hmm. Hello, bat. Oh, this is a puzzle. Oh 
Okay, well, I'm not gonna do the puzzle today. We can try it next time when we come back. I'm gonna keep looking around real quick. So that's... Uh, what's her name? That's that's the preacher's daughter. Already forgot her name. And that's a guy. Well, that seems to be what we're going to do next. When we come back, I guess we will attempt that puzzle, which will probably give us another Baja. Baja I'm going to start calling them Baja Blasts. Another Bajos. And then we can take that and uh, put it in for a third one. So when we come back, we will try this puzzle. So till then, you all take care. And of course, have a good one.